Devin Nunes, the former Republican lawmaker, who of course is the CEO of the Trump media and technology group sent a letter to his former Republican colleagues in the house of representatives this week, begging them to save his poor little company as their stock price continues to tank in his letter that was sent to house judiciary chair, Jim Jordan, financial services chair, Patrick McHenry ways and means chair, Jason Smith and oversight and reform chair, James Comer in his letter to these people, Nunez begs them, please launch an investigation and find out if there's any conspiracy out there <clears throat> to drive our stock price down. You know, we think there could be some naked short sellers out there, which naked short selling is of course illegal. We do know there's lots of legitimate short sellers out there, but Nunez just got this big old hunch that maybe somewhere somebody's doing something illegal. And because he's asking him to investigate like Rico. So he thinks there's like racketeering and conspiracy here. He thinks there's this grand conspiracy somewhere on wall street to drive down the price of the Trump media stock, which of course seems to get lower by the day. Now here's what's hilarious about this earlier in this week, <clears throat> Nunez actually sent a letter to the securities and exchange commission, right? The, the people that oversee this, the actual regulators. And he said, Hey, regulators, um, I think there's some bad things happening with the stock. There could be some illegal manipulation. Could you please look into it? And in that letter, he actually didn't provide any evidence at all to back up his claims. He just said, you know, uh, this may be a thing that's happening. Okay. It may be a thing that's happening with literally any stock on the stock market too. But if you don't have evidence that this is happening, then you're just blowing smoke. And I guess he wasn't happy that the sec didn't immediately jump up out of their chairs and go start investigating this. So he turns right around and starts crying to his former friends in the house saying, please bail me out. Please find something that'll make it look like I'm not a complete and total failure. Because at the end of the day, that's what this is about. Like this is not just about Trump's company losing tons of money. No, no, no. Devin Nunes at this point is worried about the future of his job. He was put in a position, by the way, running a media company, a position that he is not qualified for. He has never done anything like that in, in his past. He's literally never even worked in the tech industry. So why he suddenly becomes the CEO of a tech company just blows the mind. And we know why it happened. He was a loyal stooge of Donald Trump when he was in the house. So Trump rewarded him with this job but that was a stupid move by Donald Trump. Like there are plenty of people who know a lot about technology, a lot about social media, and any one of them would have made a much better CEO of your company, but you only reward loyalty. So you're stuck with a moron like Devin Nunes running a company that he knows nothing about and he's running it into the ground. And now Nunez is scared for his future. He knows that if this continues, his job is not going to continue. So he's got to call on Congress. Please launch this investigation. I know you guys are already investigating everything else under the sun. And much like those other investigations, this one will probably bear no fruit. You won't find any evidence of criminal activity, but please, could you do this one more time for Mr. Nunez? He really needs this victory. Otherwise he's probably going to be unemployed sometime in the very near future.